Afghanistan and Donna not out of the woods just yet. The Army thinks it could be another two to three days before the blimp is recovered. Meanwhile, we're getting the first hint of one of the things that might have malfunctioned when it took off. Pennsylvania state troopers Thursday fired shotgun rounds at the military's runaway blimp in an effort to get it out of the wilderness where it landed Wednesday afternoon. Like I said, that part is deflating now. Uh, they did fire uh, approximately about 100 shots at it uh, to bring it down. The Army is still investigating how the multi million dollar blimp broke loose from Aberdeen Proving Ground in Hartford County. Our advantage to being at ground zero was, in fact, that uh, the aerostat was at maximum uh, inflation. So, in fact, when it broke loose, it went uh, up. Harford County Executive Barry Glassman tells us initial reports from investigators indicate the air defense radar blimp called Aerostat should have deflated right away. The Aerostat has a, a rapid decel uh, module in it that is supposed to, when it feels itself break loose, tell the Aerostat that you need to deflate uh, rapidly and that apparently did not happen. Even if it did happen and landed closer to home, local officials worried about that long cable that unexpectedly traveled with the blimp and caused extensive power line damage in Pennsylvania. I-95 corridor cuts right through uh, Hartford County. Uh, we have a rail system with a lot of different Amtrak uh, chemicals that travel the East Coast. The other blimp that had been hovering over Aberdeen Proving Ground has been grounded as a precaution. And no word on when the billion dollar program will resume. We need to hold somebody accountable. Uh, when, when we buy equipment or when we buy technology that is to protect our country, we need, we need to make sure that it works. And tonight, the Army says there is no indication this incident has ties to a cyber attack or terrorism. We're live in the newsroom, George Lattis, WBAL, TV 11 News.